We are back in the beach house. Oh my god, it's been a while since we've been here. I was watching some videos before, like, oh wow, we haven't done the beach house in a while. Hey. Yay! So welcome to the Holistic Life Show. I'm Jenny. I'm Jay. And we created this show to bring, you know, fun, inspiration, like a little bit of comedy, because you get to see like Jay roll his eyes at me and look really weird when I'm talking about things. Um, <laughs> and just like resources and I mean, whatever it is to be able to inspire you to live an even better life. And so excited for any of you guys joining us. If you're on live, let us know you're on live and where you're from. Of course, it's the holiday season. So happy holidays. We probably should have done it like by our Christmas tree. That would have been fun. Anyway. Anyway. So go ahead. You talk. You were doing such a good job. See, he always, everything's got to fall on me, guys. It's always on me. I, it's funny because Jay always laughs when I start because I'm like, hey, welcome to the show. <laughs> so, Lester, what up? What up? We miss you. Hey, we're going to be in the city, like, soon. We're coming. And I hope you're going to hang out with us, Lester, um, because we're going to be up there the 30th to the 1st. All right, so... Today we're talking about some stuff because you're going to be doing most of the talking here. That's why you're doing the intro. Okay, good. So today we're going to talk about some stuff that is going to be potentially against some of the things that you see, know, believe, love, and really just going to talk about the fitness industry because um, there are some things that like make me cringe, some things that make you cringe, and really... We talked about this. Jay's been in the fitness, the traditional fitness and health industry for a while. And he decided to leave it about three years ago. So why? Why'd you leave? What's going on? Well, for one, like, you could basically open up a Cracker Jack box and, and find a, a personal training certification, you know. So there's, like, so many people who are certifying people to be personal trainers. And um, it's, it's kind of shocking because I feel like the, the industry doesn't really vet people. And you're, for me, it was a, it was a, a serious career because you're basically like taking or trying to help people take their health to like another level. You know, it's not just, the the glamorization of looking good or you know having a six pack having the 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 glamour muscles all that um and honestly some people shouldn't be in the industry some some people should not be trainers and i was working at a gym and this guy did like the he had his client and he got you know those little the they're not little, but the step, like the steps that you use in a step class, the big like rectangular thing and the little triangles, squares, uh, risers to raise it up, right? This chick was, I would give her five, three to five, four. And, you know, so she's like this tall and he stacks up these risers in this platform to like maybe this tall and he wanted her to step up, you know, up on them like down and up down and up and logical mind would tell you like if you know your body mechanics and how the body works like that's doing more harm than help because she's hyper extending to get her leg to like step up this high and to step off so he's basically endangering his client you know and it's it's crazy because like there were four other trainers in the same area and we were just all kind of like looking like she's gonna fucking hurt herself and i heard like he's hurt. he had hurt many other clients before but like he's still employed so you had stuff like that in the industry and my first certification was literally hands-on like most people you get information you memorize the information you write down the information you get a passing, pass or fail great and set up on that system. Not only did we have to pass the written thing, but after we did that, we had to go into an actual gym setting. We were given um, a certain machine, a certain exercise. We had to 
break down how you would get the person on and off the machine. We have to break down the primary muscle groups you would be working as well as the secondary muscle groups and you know how those muscles would work together for that particular exercise. So it just wasn't like, what does this machine do? Like we literally had to know the information, we had to apply it. So like after that, I stepped into a gym, I felt on a like totally different level, totally different level. And you don't see a lot of that. I mean, there's, there's, there's okay trainers, there's good trainers, and you have your great trainers. But unfortunately, if I ran into like people and they're like, oh, what do you do? I was like, I'm a personal trainer. Oh, I know exactly what you do. No, no, you don't, because I train on a different level. It's not just the physical aspect, you know? Um, it's, it's, it was different for me. It's actually connecting with the client, seeing where they want to go and letting them know like the gym isn't going to be like the only need thing they need to tackle to reach those goals. Uh, you don't, you don't see a lot of that. It's, it's few and far in between. And also you have like these, these people who throw out these unrealistic marketing please like lose 30 pounds in 12 weeks it's possible but how long can you sustain that I mean I feel that's part of the reason society goes through the up and down the yo-yo type of thing because it's like okay you're probably gonna have to be in the gym for an hour and a half hour and a half burning like a ridiculous amount of calories you're probably going to have to cut out a lot of what you know a lot of things you like eating or whatever for this period of time like I said it works you're definitely going to see changes physical changes you're definitely going to uh get that aesthetic look you Have want more energy you're going to feel good right because you basically just ate clean for those 12 exactly weeks exactly and like lived but it's really it's you're not doing that because you want to you're doing right. it because you know oh I want to hit this 30 pound I want to drop 30 pounds in this 12 days and after you do that since it's not uh, a consistent habit that you've been been trained or taught to sustain it's just this short-lived goal you know what i'm saying start stop it's like it's like a sprint mm -hmm. you 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 start you're gonna run like 90 yards then you're done so after the 90 yards you're like shit i'm having pizza i'm going back to the alcohol mm -hmm. you know i'm going to eat all the things that i didn't eat over the past three months and then you gain 30 40 50 pounds and then it, it starts all over again. And when I feel like too, one of the things that kind of makes me cringe, and I'm sure I've said it many times in my life, but when you meet people and they're like, oh, I can't eat that. Like I'm on a real strict diet. Right. Or when, cause like I'm all about if, if you're making those decisions cause you're choosing to, and you're right. all about it. So we're not talking about like, we're, we're talking about just like the, the, I guess automatic response that mm -hmm. people have. And I think a lot of these automatic responses are like built from society. Right. And what like the norms are, what you hear people talk, you know, I mean, I just heard somebody say like, Oh God, it's the holidays and I'm not going to be able to eat anything because I got to make sure I lose some weight. And I just feel like it's just such like a, I don't know. It just, I feel like there's a better way. But even, even, of just, e even when we go places and, and people know the background. So and Celester, Celester said the wires aren't strong enough. I agree. I mm -hmm. totally agree. I totally agree. And because for one, thank you for bringing that up, bro. For one, people don't dig into that because it's once again, it's a quick fix. I just want to lose this 30 pounds. They don't tap into, you know, why? And like, you know, uh, something I read, something I'm doing, it was like, ask your, yourself the five whys. You know, I want to lose weight. Why is that important? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because of X, Y, and Z. Okay, why is X, Y, and Z important? Well, because uh, this, that, and the third. Okay, if this, that, and the third happen, why would that be meaningful? You know, until you get to these five things, then you're, you're kind of like digging deeper to the real underlining thing. Like the underlining thing isn't just to lose weight. The underlining thing is you, you, you want to feel more confident. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to be able to, to, to step out and feel good about yourself. You right. know, you want to build up your self-esteem. And once you get that down, once you dig into that, you know, you start to have those whys. And you can start to create skills and habits to consistently continue that. 
Right. Yeah. I mean, I just think like, think of all the energy spent, you know, especially this time of year, the holidays, there's lots of extra chocolate and sweets and lots of food. And there's just lots of extra temptations around. Right. And I just feel, think about like all the stress and the unneeded energy that's around thinking about all this and stressing about it. And oh well, my the, God, the, and think the, about it as the, soon as it's over. The crazy, oh, the crazy thing too is people, people will say, Oh, well, I can't do this because it's Thanksgiving. Oh, well, then there's Christmas. Uh, well, maybe in January because I have this New Year's party to go to. People, there's always going to be something. Always. New Year's. What's the next holiday after New Year's? Valentine's Day. Even if you don't celebrate it, there's going to be a shit ton of candy around. What's after that? Easter. Even if you don't celebrate Easter, there's going to be stuff happening. You know, so there's a consistent type of thing. So you can't say, and I think that's the big thing with New Year's resolutions. Oh, this was supposed to be my year. Oh, I I, I didn't Ooh, get. We're gonna go in on that on our next show. I I didn't get yeah. get to my my goal. So yeah. you know, next year is my year, and it starts this this vicious cycle over and over and over again. With you know, instead of somebody just saying, you know what, I'm gonna be one percent better today than I was yesterday. Right. Where it's almost like looking at, and I, I'm throwing this out. It's just coming out. It's like almost like looking at health and fitness, like, I don't know, a different way and not looking at it. Like it has to be like these hardcore parameters that you step in and out. Like, okay, I'm on the bandwagon now. Oh, I'm off the bandwagon. Like what if it was just your life and it was what you do and the way you think about things. So when the holidays do come, like literally, you could start working out and being healthy and changing habits on Christmas Day if you wanted. Right. You could start the week of Christmas. You could start on you know you could start any time. But even thinking of thinking anytime. about thinking about that, but like let's think about all the programming, even for you, like mm-hmm. going from these hardcore workouts to just doing something and you feeling okay with just that. Like, yeah. does this even count? Does this even matter? So there's a lot of lot of reprogramming that has to be done, I feel, yeah. for people because you have people and trainers alike who feel like if you're not dying, you know what I'm saying? If you don't get up next next the next morning and and fall because of the previous leg day, did you even do anything? Right. Which is crazy to me. Right. It's interesting because you know, as you're talking about all this. You know, one of the things that I learned working with you, you know, through wasn't called Next Level Evolution really at the time because you were just helping me, but that's what it's come together is one of the things I realized that was a foundational belief is how I was so dictated to eat around mealtime. So if it's 12, I have to eat. If Lunch. it's six, I have to eat. Dinner. Right. And those times, like even if I wasn't hungry, I'm eating lunch or dinner. Right. Right. And, um, I don't know. It's just, I think when you just start shifting some of those foundational beliefs, because think about it, you're already starting to hear trickles about, you know, new year, new you, you're starting to hear trickles about, all right, you know, what are you going to do January 3rd? What are you going to do January 6th? How are you going to start into something new? You're already starting to hear trickles. Even touching on that, even thinking about that, look at how you, you had to go through some type of conditioning or programming to eat at those specific times. I get up, I eat breakfast. At 12 o'clock, it's lunch. Around 5 or 6, it's dinner time. Well, it's driven by a 9 to 5 schedule. But you still, but, but, at 12 or yeah, 1. Or yeah, but even still, things were put into place for you to, to um, basically do that on autopilot. Mm-hmm. What if you just switch those things, not you, just in general, you switch those things and put other skills and habits in place to create a whole new system of habits mm-hmm. and conditions that served you. Right. Like, wh- I mean, wouldn't that just be great? Wouldn't that be great just to go through the holidays and go through every day and without it being like, okay, you know. My my biggest thing, I like, I, and you introduced me to this word, like, I love, you know, disrupting the industry. I love disrupting what someone thinks they know about like what I do. Mm-hmm. Like this company I was with, we would go in and do lunch and learns. And you know, um, there would be like 
cookies and snacks over on on the table or whatever and you know there was a slideshow going on or whatever you would have a speaker there's one time i'm over in the corner i'm snacking on cookies and chocolate chip i love sweets guys i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm not even gonna stand here and be like oh if i don't do it yes i love sweets i love them Shoot, we love just them. had a Reese's Reese's. love them <laughs> it it's it's really probably anyway love them so this presentation, I was supposed to speak, and apparently the intro went a lot shorter than I thought it would. So I'm over snacking in the corner, and, you know, the chick is like, all right, well, here's Jay. And I'm like, oh, snap. So I'm in the front, like a mouthful of cookie. I'm like, excuse me. You know? And I'm like, hey, guys, we're all human. Let me finish this real quick. So, you know, and they're like, okay, I feel that that brings down people's walls because, Health and fitness professionals, I feel sometimes have, they, they put themselves in an unrealistic position, like this unrealistic pedestal. It's like, oh, you have to live up to this. So people down here are looking up like, I could never do that. Mm -hmm. I could never do that. And it's like, you know, the person in the gym who works at the gym, who clocks in and out of the gym is going to tell you, you have to make time to work out. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do it. But this person basically is employed at the gym. If their client cancels, guess what they can do? Work out, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Yeah, the, I don't know. I just think about all the, when you're talking about the, like the working out and being on a pedestal and Celeste knows this because he went through insanity, like test training with Sean D with everything like handed to him. Right. And of course he was super ripped and looked amazing. And was on the commercial. You're stuff, going to see those right? results. Like it's you're going to happen. But also at the same time, I think it depends on what phase in your life you're right. at because you know, here's the thing guys, you know, if the phase of the life that you're in and you want to do the hardcore workouts and that's what, where you're at, Game go on. do that. Game on. But if you're kind of like wondering, like, you know, if you're kind of sitting here thinking, like, does it have to be a certain way? Like, do I have to go to the gym? Do I have to give up cookies? Do I have to, like, you know, all the things that you feel like have caused you to crash and burn and go on the roller coasters, that's really, like, that's what we're talking about. And I think those are some of the reasons why you've left the traditional fitness model, because you said that you don't have any interest in working in a gym again. Life is, is for one it, once again like exercise if you talk about cardio what's the first thing that comes to mind i, I shouldn't ask you because you already know how i think but usually what's the first thing that comes to people's mind when they think cardio running 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 on a treadmill yes. running outside you know oh i have to do cardio cardio equals running which is so far from the truth if i had a trainer and they said you have to do cardio for the first 15 minutes, cardio, getting on a treadmill. I'm going to need my money back. You know, this isn't going to work. Well, you're going to do it and you're going to hate it. Well, no, no, fuck that. Well, I'm, I'm, no. not, I'm not okay, going to do gonna it. You're going to say no, but let's say like, you know, someone's paying a trainer. They're just going to do it. Right. And, hate and it's it. going to produce results. But they're going to. But they're not going to like it. They're going to hate when it. They, when they don't have the trainer anymore, like they're not going to stick to the program. Right. Right. That's really the thing. It's like the way that it's set up now, you know, with like lose 30 pounds in 12 weeks or, you know, oh my God, new year, new you, or all the people who take all of the equipment that you've already been using all year for the first few weeks of January, like all that stuff, right? Like, I don't know. There's a couple of different ways I can go with it. Like one, you start in January, you're all hot, you're going to fall off. Right. And then two, you know, all of it works. We all know this. Like right. we know like calories in, calories out. We know if you're gonna, you know, get active. We know we have to get active, but it's just that it's like really comes down to sustainability. And, and all the how do you how do you want just, to live you know, your life? Like people feel like staying active means think about it. People say you need to stay active. You need to be active. Well, you need to exercise 30 minutes of the day. Mentally, you equate exercise to going to the gym, working mm -hmm. out. Um, I feel people should say you need to be active, moderately active for at least 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes a day. That could be anything. That could be walking your dog. That could be um, cleaning your house to some Janet Jackson. 
for 30 minutes, you know, getting your, your, your groove thing. That could be taking up a fencing or, or, or you know, karate class, mm -hmm. like uh, Celeste. Yeah. It's about being active. Like if you hate the gym, why would you kill yourself and be like, oh, I have to go to the gym? Because you're not gonna wanna do it. It's not gonna be sustainable. You're gonna find reasons not to be consistent. And I think that's one of the main, well, I don't think, that's one of the main reasons I stepped away from the fitness industry in the traditional sense because like there's so much more than just going to the gym you know there's so much more than like like um cutting out all the sweets and stop drink there's so much more and think about it like with all the the social media influencers on instagram on facebook on snapchat on tiktok or you know insert your favorite here there's so many people giving out this free information to get healthy healthy if people were really doing these things why is america still an overweight country it's deeper than that mm -hmm. stressed out and not getting enough sleep and you know the confidence as well as a whole I, and and just and if we're just completely honest the mindset behind it mm -hmm. the mindset behind it because it's like oh you're asking me to do that instead of where do you want to go like okay give me this big picture that's where you want to go that's cool now let's break it down into little consumable pieces that you can obtain and you know and, and we were actually uh talking about this yesterday like when you want to make a life change when you're ready to change something else in your life you know yes we still want everything right now because, I mean, you can Google something and get an answer in 2.2 seconds, oh, yeah. right? Like, so we still want things fast. Yep. But when you're talking about change, like, I'm going through my own personal life change right now. Like, I'm changing some foundational beliefs about who I am, what I believe, the way I show up, the way I work, the way I talk to myself. And that's a big, like, there's a lot of steps in that. That's a big undertaking. It's, it's going to take time, right, to change all that. And I feel like we understand that it's going to take time in other aspects, mm -hmm. but with health and fitness, it's almost like we just, we expect immediate results and the fast and easy button. Right. And it's like, I think it's because of all the conditioning around and the, the, what people result or resort to, they go, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. Okay, I'm going to hire a trainer. And then you're doing all these things you hate or like, oh, great. Now I just got to eat lettuce like a rabbit and not <laughs> eat anything good. It's just because of all those things that people have either experienced and hated right. or heard other friends. And like you're talking about changing like someone's life and the way they do things. Mm -hmm. And our society is around food and like I'm a foodie, right? It's around food. Right. But what I feel like we're really believing in and talking about and what you're getting to with why you left it, it's like, cool, I want you to still be a foodie. Right. I want you to still enjoy things. And we want to find ways to have help you have more like peace and confidence and freedom and self-love, but while you're losing the weight too. So it's stick it a bit pin, pin in that real quick, yeah. touching back on the foodie thing, not just being a foodie, but like depending on who you are and where you grew, grew up in your family dynamics a lot of that ties into it. Like, you know, uh, my, my sister's mixed. My sister's half Hispanic. Her uh, Hispanic side of family, they do like tamales and tortillas for Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's a big family type of thing. You know, I have friends who um, the, the food is, is, is a comfort food. If there was something wrong in the house, everybody would come together, cook something and eat. You know what I'm saying? And that was a way to, to mend that type right. of thing. So it's these other things that food is associated with and tied to that you just can't fix by saying, stop eating this. Right. Because it's not just about stop eating this. There's, there's a connection. And I feel if you understand that connection, you understand the why and, and you know, you have a better chance of, of I'm not going to say changing that because it's not, it's, it's not about changing it's people it's not that people are broken it's about seeing what your situation is and readapting to how you want to get there yeah
We've got a couple comments. So Monique says, quick results because that's how we're programmed by the industry, but it's not sustainable. So I totally agree with that. And Abby says, I need to go back to doing Trainer Cammy's free 15-day challenge because you can do all the workouts at home. And she gives you a recipe book to stay on track. Having two kids playing sports and other activities, oh, I don't man. have the time oh. or the energy oh, to go to the gym. And her recipes are really good and some sweet. I, and, and, and when you're younger, Abby, you know, you have all the time in the world. You're twin, depending on when you get married or whatever. But, you know, life happens. Life mm -hmm. happens. You have kids. You have career. You have family. You have all these other priorities. Um, and then, you know, you slowly slip away. But it doesn't seem slow in your mind. You wake up. You look down. You're like, what the fuck happened? And you're like, I need to change this, like, right now. But you didn't get there overnight. So it's not going to change overnight. Right. Yeah, and I mean, Abby, I used to play softball with her. We grew up playing ball together. So I mean, we've got that athletic drive inside of us. But like you said, then, you know, like career, life, kids, you're busy. Yep. So, you know, Abby, I know the biggest thing for me, and you might be able to relate to this, it's like I liked a lot of that hardcore stuff, and I felt like that's what I had to do to get results. But I've been shifting because that's just not what I want to do from now until forever. And so just being gentle with yourself. If Cammy's 15 day plan is what you like, do make it, it happen. and bring your kids into it or make, whatever yeah. it is. Make it a family make it. thing. Yeah. And make if it she's happen. got 30 minute things and you can only do 15, that's fine too. You know, Jace taught me that like it doesn't have to fit in a certain container of time. One you of the know, things just, I love doing was taking somebody who would be like, Oh, I, I like hardcore workouts and just slowly slowly breaking them down with the most mundane like workout and have them like sitting there screaming and like oh my gosh uh oh like we didn't really do anything oh we did we did a lot we did a lot we did if you know how to work the body you know if you understand body mechanics you can do a whole lot yeah i think you know and abby said you know yes it's a lifestyle change i think you know the thing is is you have to be willing to step up, take a stand for yourself, mm -hmm. decide that you want something different and don't allow yourself to fall into the traditional health and fitness things that you see advertised or that yep. you're going to see advertised yep. that your friends and family are going to do. Like if you have tried those over and over and over and they don't work for you when you're talking about sustainability, you have to be willing to stand up for yourself and say, I want something different, I'm going to do something different, and I'm ready. Like, it takes you being willing to go against the grain, because everybody and their mom knows how to do, everybody's going to tell you what to do. I mean, every, you can if, find you, an you, expert on every you, corner, you, whether it's legit You know what not. to do. Like, right. honestly, if I was to ask you generally, how do you need to, like, be healthy and get in shape you could tell me probably 20 different ways right 20 different ways and the health and fitness industry is a trillion dollar business man like because of the marketing because you know people throw these things out here and they know people aren't going to stick with them right and i mean that's you know once you find the thing or things that work for you it could be some of the stuff we're talking about like this is what we believe to be true and we know that what we believe in and what Jay's put been putting together for years after all of his training, like we know it works because we've been testing it. We've been working with people and we've had results, right? We know it works, but maybe our way is not for you, which is perfectly right? fine. Like we want you to find the way that works for you. And if we are the people that help you get there, we'd love to be a part of that. If we're not the people, we just want you to wake up and like look around and not just fall into the same things. Like our next show, we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions and some of the like annoyances around New Year's resolutions. And I bet you could have a laugh with us <laughs> and even be like, wow, I fought that way before. And if you just think about the cycles as humans, like, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like just, we all just kind of get herded around, you right. know, and if we stay with the herd, it influences what we think and behave and how we feel. Until we like wake up and go, wait, I don't want to be a part of the herd anymore. Right. Like I want to do something different that's for me that I feel really good about, that I don't feel restricted, that I don't feel like, I don't know. I just personally, 
I don't want to be in a box while I'm trying to make a change. And I'm not, like, let, let, me, really let me throw this out here yeah. to make sure it's understood, even though it's like later in the show now, I should have threw it out first. I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with the fitness industry. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, how I wanted to help people. That was not my platform to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm not saying gym sucks, fashion. That's not what I'm saying. If it works for you, stick with it. Mm-hmm. Do what works for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, find the thing that you're going to love doing and you're going to want to continue doing because it makes you feel amazing. And once you can get past the, uh, well, as Jenny said, once you wake up, and decide, you know, you want to do your own thing. It's it it be it comes it becomes easier mm-hmm. because we're focused on as Celeste said earlier, like they don't have a, a, a deeper why. Once you connect to that why in your head and in your heart, like the physical is gonna happen, but it has to happen inside first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Once you connect and fix the inside. The outside has no choice but to adhere. Celeste said, fine, I'll say it for you then. There's a lot wrong with the industry. (laughs) (laughs) My guy. (laughs) There really is. There really is. But I guess, I feel like, you know, it's like, the the thing is, is like, if some of those things work for you, we want you to do the things that work for you that you feel excited about, that you feel connected to. Right. But we want you to know that those things don't have to be the way that it is. Right. You know, I mean, you don't have to do things the way that the programming is there. Like when January comes, you don't have to hire a trainer and pay a trainer $80 an hour right. two, two times a week and go suffer at a gym at 5 a.m. and completely change everything in your life. If that's what you hate. If that's what you hate. Yeah. Now, if you start this change and you find like somewhere down the line that you really enjoy the gym, do that. But, like, if you went from sitting on the couch to trying to do 200 crunches, I was about to say crunches, 200 crunches, Crunchies. you're going to be one of those people who are like, oh, I'm going to start my gym life in January and be out by January 15th yeah. because you're basically shocking your system and it has to be a gradual type of thing. Right. I mean, if if this is speaking to you, completely then make sure you get on the next evolution wait list because this is exactly what we're going to be taking people like you through we're going to be taking you through a whole program that's going to be about habits and beliefs and getting down to like like you always say like digging up the obstacles yep. and helping you to feel really good about moving forward helping you to learn new things about yourself um and ultimately duh like you're going to lose weight that's but gonna that's not that's, the that's, focus, a, that's a byproduct right? it's, it's not like I have to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. You know, wake up one day and be like, holy shit, I'm in my skinny jeans again. Right. So make sure you get on the wait list. Um, I believe that we're going to be doing, if you get on the wait list and let us know that you're interested, we're going to be doing like a, I don't know, I guess a soft launch where we're going to be coming out with a special price just for those who are super excited in our circle. It's going to be a small group, like a little, like a little mini launch group to get started before we release it out like in March, I think it's like March, the end of March is when we're really going to release the program at the full price and go to the market with it. And I'm going to say this too, guys, and I'm going to try to say this as nicely as I can. Like if you're thinking about changing, you're not ready. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want you to waste mine. Like if you know now is the time for you, Yes, but if you're like thinking, if you're like kicking the tires, let's not waste each other's time. Yeah. You know, I decided not to cut us off. You know, we've gone 35 minutes. Wow. I decided not to cut us off because I felt like there was a lot of good energy and I feel like this topic is really needed to be discussed and to bring some things out in the open. So, so grateful that some of you were able to join us today. Celeste! Celeste, Abby, thanks for Monique. joining Monique! And anybody else who joined us who, you know, didn't say anything and was just quietly watching behind the scenes. And thank you guys who watch the show and don't say shit ever, but tell other people they need to watch the show. We love you too. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and I think next week on Thursday or Friday 
is what we're hoping to do our next show on. And we're going to be really talking about like New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Ooh, is that going to be an early show? Huh? Is that going to be an early show? I don't know. What do you mean early? I got to work. We'll figure it out. Okay. Well, right, we'll, we'll figure it out sometime um, after the holidays. We're going to do another one. All right. Game on. I forget about his work schedule. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy your holidays next week. If you celebrate Christmas, if you don't, then happy holidays. Enjoy your time off from work. <laughs> you might have got some days off. See you guys soon. Bye. Mahala.